Hey everyone, Doug here with another trailer construction update for 1st of April 2018. Um, done, I haven't done a whole lot on it since the last update video, but I had a few things that I wanted to show you guys. Things that are that are probably worthwhile. So I'll uh, start up here in the front. And the first thing I uh, mentioned here is that, um, well I actually mentioned in a previous video that I purchased this uh, 128 button controller from, from X Keys. And I was having trouble getting it to work with uh, the Just Macro software that I'm currently using. Uh, fortunately, several viewers the channel wrote in and, and uh, gave tips on how to make it work and one one of them actually sent me an xml file to do the configuration so i've actually got that up and going now so i've kind of just done uh, sources 1 through 14 on the bottom row uh, 15 through 20 above that and then media player super source color one and two uh, black color bars and then me2 and then some similar above that and then a row for uh, the second me of the switcher all the transition stuff over here um, macros up in here all the keyers up through here and then control of the uh, media players there so um, that is currently working and because i still have my 80 button controller i actually got that over here on this table this is a table that i've been doing a lot of my recent videos on uh, it's not normally set up when we're on on site doing a gig but uh but uh it's it's, it's handy for uh, for doing these YouTube videos. Uh, it's a folding table, it's stable, so I can just sort of fold it up and stick it out of the way when I'm not actually shooting. So, um, one thing I may have mentioned in some of the previous videos is that uh, occasionally I have to do things with, or I have to integrate with standard def uh, systems. So I, I go to shoot video in a building that uh, only has standard def distribution. And so I thought it might be kind of important to have some support for standard def in the trailer here. So. And that actually brings me to the next thing. So I've got my Sony 9L3 monitor set up here. Uh, this is a monitor I've had for many years. Um, but it, it's actually, I actually got the SDI option card for it. So it's connected with SDI. So it's digital all the way to the monitor. I'm gonna have to figure out a better way to, to mount the thing because that just takes up way too much space there. So I'm sort of weighing my options and trying to figure out what the best way to, to do that is. So. Uh, if you guys have done something like that, ooh, we're out of focus, uh, and have any and have any tips on on what we, what I can do to, and that camera's taking a long time to focus. Uh, any have any tips on what I can do to sort of mount that monitor there and and uh, have it not be in the way, but still give me a, a view of what the current signal looks like over standard def. That would be appreciated. Um, one of the downsides to using as many computers as I have in the trailer is that I'm constantly having to deal with Windows updates. And so every time Microsoft publishes an update, I have to come out to the trailer here and install them four, four or five times. Oh, like five or, yeah, at least five times. Cause I've got the three Intel NUX and then a server and then the Surface Pro 2 over here. So I'm dealing with that at the moment. So uh, ready, to, ready to finish restarting here. Um, after installing the updates. Um, so along with the, uh, the monitor that I added up front, I've also got a couple of uh, monitors back here. These are Sony PVM9L2s. And so I bought these things brand new years and years ago. So they cost a fortune. At the time I couldn't afford to jump all the way to the 9L3s. So I've got the 9L2s here. They're still good monitors. Uh, I do not have the SDI option card, so I'm having to run these through uh, SDI to analog converter. Uh, but uh, also reminds me, I think I probably mentioned early on when I was doing these trailer update videos that the center section of, of the uh, back of the trailer is actually perfect width for, for rack rails. And so I've got uh, a little more permanent solution on the way here. So these monitors, right, they're currently in a removable case, but uh, I've got the rack rails and then um, some shelves or some other stuff here I'll show you in a minute in order to make some of this stuff a little bit more permanent. Um, so going up the stack here, I've also got a DVD player. This is a Panasonic DVD A300. This actually is the very first DVD player that came to the county I live in. So I uh, got this clear back in 1997. It actually still works. And uh, so in addition to being able to play DVDs, it can obviously it can also play CDs and whatnot. So, so if I need to, to play some of that old school media, <laughs> I've got that player there. Um, yeah, I can actually power it on here. See, I don't know if you can see on camera there, but uh, no disc. Yeah, so it's actually fully functional. Uh, above that, I've got uh, 
a JVC Super VHS VCR. Uh, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rack mount this stuff as soon as as soon as the uh, the shelves and whatnot come in. Uh, but this is uh, a model that uh, has a feature called S or Super VHS ET in it. And what that actually does is allows uh, to use standard VHS tapes to record a higher resolution signal. It's not quite the same resolution as regular uh, Super VHS, but it is a little bit better than than the off-the-shelf standard VHS that that everybody uses. Uh, so you can save some money on tapes. If, I don't know if you guys have looked, but Super VHS tapes are insanely expensive these days. Uh, so being able to use the cheaper variant is going to be very helpful there. Uh, above that, I've got a Sony cassette deck. So this is one of the latest one of the latest models that they've produced. This one actually does have the Dolby B, C, and S reduction on it, unlike some of the other ones that, that are out there. Again, this thing is still fully functional. It works just perfectly. It's also a three-head model, uh, so can monitor what's re being recorded um, in real time. So it has one, if you haven't used a three-head cassette deck, uh, they have one head for uh, recording, one head for playback, and then a third head for erasing. So that's why it's called three-head. Uh, but having separate record and playheads allows you to actually listen to whatever's being recorded on the tape uh, as it's being recorded with just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of delay. So, so there's that. Um, Another thing that I that I've done here, um, a three D printed headphone uh, holder for headphones here. Um, I don't really like it though because it doesn't have a, a place to to put a cord, and so I'm looking at other designs, uh, hoping I don't have to draw one because that does take a while. But but if I do, so be it. Um, so just a place to hang headphones. Once I find one I like, I'm going to put those everywhere in the trailer for hanging uh, headsets and whatnot. So. All right, and then down to the uh, very last update here in the trailer, and that's uh, that's here. This is I've installed a at least temporarily on this arm anyway um, a little turntable. So uh, this actually is a recent model. I, I've only had this thing for for a couple of years, but uh, but it, it absolutely does work and it sounds fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, I can't. If I turn on the speakers, I get, I get feedback from my microphone. So, but, uh, but look, oh, while I'm driving down the road here, I can uh, sort of uh, jam out to a little, little Debbie Gibson. Uh, so I'm still trying to figure out a way to hook this into the stereo in my truck as I'm driving down the road. But uh, um, in terms of keeping it stable, I think all I really need to do is uh, put this bungee cord over the top, and that should allow it to, to work just fine as we're driving down the road there. So anyway, so it's a nice quick video. Um, like I said, I didn't, I didn't have a whole, a whole ton that, that I've done recently, but I uh, wanted to show you a few, a, guys a few things that I've been up to. So uh, I'll update, do another update video as soon as, as soon as I have that equipment there a little more permanently mounted. And, and uh, yeah, so anyway, so if you have guys have any questions, be sure and leave those in the comment section down below. Also, if you have suggestions, smart remarks or otherwise, those also go down in the comments as well. Um, if you want to go check out my website, that's uh, djprod.biz, djprod.biz. And you can, there's a contact me page there if you need to get in contact with me for whatever reason. Um, also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe the video. Uh, appreciate you guys watching, and have a great day.